It's all a game to her. It's like play acting. This is Carrie O'Donnell from Tarot Soul Writer, and if you would like a personal reading with me, please go to my website, tarotsoulwriter.com, and I'd be happy to do a reading for you. Today, I'm going to focus on questions concerning the classified documents case. The first question is, will Judge Cannon be removed in April? from Trump's classified documents case. If not April, then when? So I did a reading on this and this is what I got. The timeline was a little fuzzy and I will tell you this, I did get the April card. So that's good, right? So the time card says April. Okay, you think it's a yes. But then I also pulled time is frozen and then within three months. When I looked at the tarot cards, I did get more of a range of time, like it could happen within this time. So I feel yes, April, but maybe as long as June. And this is what's going on in that time frame. I get around Judge Cannon that we feel shortchanged and denied. Probably denied justice. With her, there is this perpetual gap between desire and fulfillment. She's hungry for attention. She is never satisfied for what she wants. Like there, she has her own thirst for power, but also in the case, it's like, that's her job. She has to never be satisfied with things and always ask for something else. More evidence, more time. I did see a gift or donation given to her. So there is dark money underneath the situation. And I get that she is owned because of this gift or donation. It's like she can never pay back the loan. So no matter what she does, they want more. And it becomes this cycle for her where she feels trapped. I get greed and selfishness, not just underneath her supporting the situation. She is also a greedy and selfish person. <laughs> There's a lot of illusion around her. I wrote illusion and delusion. She sees herself as successful. She is not. But she perceives herself as something different than the way we perceive her in the courtroom. I wrote, she is having trouble seeing what is real and what is true anymore. I get her very confused most of the time. Like she really doesn't know what to do, especially in her job. So I get her very indecisive, like, oh, should I do this or should I do that? I'm not sure. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. And I also saw her imagining herself as a Supreme Court justice. The image I saw was a little girl who was playing dress up with the big robes and like play acting that she was on the Supreme Court, which I think is a metaphor for where she is developmentally in her job and her ability to do this job or to even do that job. And she's like a little child. She doesn't have enough knowledge. She doesn't have enough experience. It's all a game to her. It's like play acting. It's not real. It's not like a real ambition. It's a whim. It's childlike in the way she imagines this. I wrote, she is wallowing in daydreams. Then I got that she will withdraw from the case because of secrets or what is hidden. And someone said she has a lot of learning to do. And I feel like that's underestimating Jack Smith. So there is some sense that like something behind the scenes. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna see this, but he tightens the screws on her a little bit. I'm wondering if he actually has some information about her. They showed me some sort of gift or donation to her 
at the beginning of the reading, it's possible that Jack Smith kind of tightens the screws by presenting that I know this is happening. I have evidence of this happening. Either way, I got her withdrawing herself from this case. Now, in the meantime, because this goes to the timeline, I got interference in April, panic, a lot of energy going nowhere, slowdowns, delays, stoppage, setbacks all around the court case. And then I saw Jack Smith as a man in black, like the figurative man in black, who show up when supposedly there are alien sightings or UFO sightings. He was showing up as one of those behind the scenes people who just show up and I guess it would be threatening, being somewhat threatening. And I feel like that is when he's really turning on his power. Like, I know these things. I know these things from, from more secret investigations. Like, don't mess with me. I have you. And I feel like it's in this moment, I feel like he's presenting something on her that has her take herself down. Now, the timing is April to June. There's a lot of chaos in this period. And this kind of goes to the next question. Will Jack Smith prevail in the documents court case and will 45 be found guilty? Yes, I, I do feel Jack Smith is going to prevail. He shows up at the end as someone who's in control and he is not going to let go of what's going on in this case until he has some sort of satisfaction. This is what we do find out once this court case gets underway. If it does, I think this is the problem is I'm not sure if the court case is interrupted and that's why I'm getting the delays, the stoppage, the setbacks, the panic. Um, is that goes along with what I'm getting to. But what we do find out probably at the beginning of the case, hopefully, is that he is a shapeshifter, con man, liar, crook, agitator. I got all of that. And then I got some problems around Trump's head and I wrote mental illness. I got that we find out that Trump wanted revenge. I wrote, there's evil here. He hates the country. Someone said he hates the country. So to me, that sounds like there's something a bit treasonous here that is being revealed to us. He wants revenge. I mean, he took those documents because he lost the election. So on the way out, he, he takes those. So I think we're going to understand that there was some sort of revenge here and possibly uh, some selling of the documents since I... I did hear he hates the country. He was possessing the documents I wrote because he needs financial security. Then I heard, my body betrays me. And then I wrote, illness. I get Trump is angry and weak. He used his personal power to dominate. I see a wounded animal cringing in a corner. In a dark corner. I heard excessive pride. The cat is out of the bag. We know everything. Then I got coronary issues. It was all for nothing. I have a lack of material assets. I am abandoned. I did not get my symbolism for being found guilty in a court. I actually didn't get that. I feel he's found guilty in the court of public opinion. I think somehow this case has either started or the evidence is revealed in some way where we learn the truth of what happened with those documents and his motivations. And then I get some sort of interruption. And this interruption, again, I keep getting coronary issues, but the cat is out of the bag. So the information gets out there somehow. So Jack Smith does prevail. But is he found guilty in an actual court of law? Like, okay, guilty. And then here's the sentence. I'm just not getting it. So I feel like the timeline is going to be really tricky here. It is possible that this might be the case that throws him over the edge. I thought maybe it was the Stormy Daniels case, I think in a previous video. But it looks to me, unless there are like multiple cases going on at once. But now I'm starting to think the way this is presenting itself, maybe this is the case. It kind of flips him over the edge. But yes, I do get Eileen Cannon having to withdraw. Yes, I do get Jack Smith prevailing. And yes, there is justice here. At the end of the day, we do learn everything. And this could be the end of the line for Trump. 
We'll see. We'll see if the trial finishes, um, but it's going to be kind of close. I think this is the one. This is the time period. Once we get into that summer period where Trump is most vulnerable. But don't worry. The truth is coming out. And that is my reading on the classified documents case. If you like this video, like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.